Now to the battle over a controversial landfill in Madison County and a letter from the company behind the landfill has opponents upset. So this is Alex Love is live at the Madison County Board of Supervisors meeting happening now. Alex. Absolutely. So this landfill would be the third in Madison County, two of which of them would be in Ridgeland. Now, members of the campaign, no more dumps showed up to show the board that they are not going away. Attorneys for the NCL Waste Company were also supposed to be here, but early this morning, they sent a last minute letter to the board saying that they will wait to, to, to speak with, more, with the board, with the Madison County board attorney, Mike Espy, and their clients some more. Now to that letter, it comes from NCL Waste Attorney to the board. It asks board members to fill out necessary paperwork for the State Department of, of Environmental Quality, which would have given NCL the permit. NCL promises to reimburse the board on any cost when they make that request. Opponents of the dump are angry, saying NCL is trying to go around them and not hearing their concerns about the environmental and health impact. The main concerns that we have had is we've already lost you know, sales to properties based off of just people talking about this landfill possibly happen, happening. And it happened um, this past weekend. There was a couple coming from Hattiesburg and they decided not to buy in Madison because of this. And one of the other main concerns that I have is the smell is already atrocious enough when you drive down, you know, the Natchez Trace. It just, it already smells bad. And if we have a third one out there, I can only imagine how much worse it's going to be. Back in January, MDEQ first tabled the motion for NCL to get a permit until the Madison County Board of Supervisors can send in a new, ne a new necessary paperwork, uh, a new set of necessary paperwork to show that a third landfill would really be needed. We'll dive more into our 10 p.m. newscast and we will hear from residents in that area about why they're really concerned about their health and what a third landfill might do to the next generation moving in. For now, live in Canton, Alex Love, 12 News.